All right, all the easy questions out of the way. What are you guys doing? Break some news here. What's going on behind closed doors that we don't know about? Who do you want? Who are you close to getting? Yeah, not much so far. I mean, we're we're obviously um, in, in cash and is engaged in a lot of conversations, bouncing a lot of different ideas, concepts off other clubs, off all of our guys in the room as, as we kind of brainstorm and continue to kind of keep up the conversation. Frankly, we have all winter long where we're talking about ideas to to try and make us better and um you know it's been slow i would say for the most part so far today but those conversations those text messages those those uh ideas are are getting ramped up a little bit now that we are here is the conversation with regard to dd at shortstop is that or you feel that solvable uh, solvable from within or do you have to go get some help it, it's absolutely solvable from within you know, that said, that is an area where I know Cash is working really hard to kick every kind of option through the trade market, through free agency. So we're certainly trying to upgrade that and, and trying to at least get somebody from a stopgap to a long-term solution in, in there. But we feel like we have really good options internally, too. We, we saw Glaber move over to shortstop for a few weeks last year. It's a position he played throughout his minor league career. So we feel like Glaber's versatility gives us some flexibility where we go as far as do we need a shortstop do we need a second baseman those kind of things uh hopefully give us uh greater avenues to go acquire somebody and one of those solutions could be manny machado obviously one of the marquee names on the free agent market you're smiling because i'm sure any manager would love to have manny machado penciled into the lineup but he also has to fit within the parameters that the yankees are comfortable with What's your thought process on Machado and how he could or would fit in with the Yankees? It, it feels very early in the game. Um, you know, I know Cash has, has spoken to, to, to their representatives, um, but I would say it's very early in the game. And, and I don't even know if in the end we, we go down that road or not, but, um, you know, that'll something that'll kind of unfold over the, probably the next week or a couple weeks where, you know, we start to have those conversations. And if it seems like a fit, then I'm sure we'll be involved. But I don't think we've, as an organization, made that final decision if we're going to be all in on something like that. Brian Cashman has been very clear. He wants another starting pitcher. I'm sure you want another starting pitcher as well. Do you expect that to come via the free agent market or more so a trade situation? I wouldn't be surprised either way, honestly. I mean, those are even today the conversations that we're having uh with other clubs about trade options um obviously we're engaged with with guys that are free agents that that could impact our staff it's certainly um a big time priority for us and something that we're we're involved heavily in with i would say right now but i would would not be surprised sitting here if it came from either one it's funny because people are looking at the Yankees, well, they have to do something because the Red Sox won the World Series. But as Jack said earlier, you guys won 100 games. I don't think you're that far off. And, you know, the president of the Yankees, Randy Levine, said a week ago, I think we're just as good as the Red Sox, if not better the way we're presently constituted. So is that a delicate balance? We like what we have here because we won 100 games. Do we have to do that much? I think that's fair. We do feel like we're one of the elite clubs in Major League Baseball, and I, and I think there's no arguing that. The Red Sox were obviously a little bit better than us, a little bit better than everyone in the season that they had. But I think hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, in years that we just had, hopefully when we win a championship, you're always going to be tinkering with things. You're mm -hmm. always going to be trying to make improvements, and that's going to happen uh, hopefully when we climb to the top of the mountain as well because it's inevitable that things change and evolve, and, and I think you've got to constantly be um, making little moves that, that help, uh, help let you grow, I guess. Aaron,